Coach, talk about uh, the program, uh, how's practice going so far? We're, we're excited. A lot of new faces, uh, but some, some experienced guys back that played in uh, postseason and things like that. Uh, we have um, a nice mixture of guys. And Anthony Collins comes back in his third year and is one of the premier guards uh, in our league and around the country. Victor Rudd's a senior for us now at six foot nine, and um, now we're counting on some guys that were freshmen last year, not sophomores. Zach Day and Javante Hawkins to really emerge, and Musa Aline Abdul. Uh, the key for us is our big guys. If our big guys are young, talented freshmen who can grasp college basketball, learn, and you know produce, um, we got a chance to be very good. Uh, so we're working hard. Uh, great environment, uh, great camaraderie with the players, and. Uh, looking forward to a really good season. Coaches always say freshmen are freshmen, but at some point they become sophomores and juniors. The growth period of those guys, you know, is it one? Is it a short growth period or a long growth period? They already at this point in time bring things that we haven't had, and, and I think they're really special and unique. Johnny Boone is an incredible shot blocker and a runner and a guy who can play well above the rim. Uh, Chris Perry already has a college body at 260 pounds and six foot eight and, and great hands and touch and feel the score. So they already bring things I know that are going to help our basketball team. The question I think for any young guy is now, can you play the game and not make a lot of mistakes or are you going to get yourself in a lot of foul trouble? If we can get to the point where we're not fouling a lot and we learn how to play defense, ball screens, post defense, rebound, all those different things, as well as we don't turn it over, travel, do different things like that that hurt your team. Those are the areas I'm a little bit more concerned about. But their talent is going to help us immediately. Talk about the transition of this conference. Um, in the, the old Big East, you know, you, you, you rotate out as far as playing schedule, you know, teams and all out of the division. Now you got a balanced schedule. You got each other twice. What, how much will it mean to, to actually have a regular season champion? Well, I love old school, uh, and this is old school. Uh, you know, the fact that that's the way it used to be. You played everybody twice. Uh, you had a true league champion. You went to the conference tournament, and, uh, you know, you can make a run in there as well, too, and win a conference championship uh, from, from a tournament standpoint. Uh, so I love this format. Uh, I think most coaches would agree that that's the truest way to find your best teams and, and to really find out who you are. You know, playing somebody on their home court as well as them coming to your place and protecting. Uh, so I, I love that. I, I think everybody as, as coaches and players, uh, you know, see a, a new exciting thing evolve and, and have a chance to be a part of history. Be the first team that wins your conference tournament, wins your league. You know, so history is, is kind of being made. Be the, the number one assist player to play in the conference and be in the, the record books or, or the scoring champ. Uh, so there's a lot of exciting things. We have great television exposure. Um, when I looked at the, the, the parity of our league, Louisville being a national champ, but everybody else kind of being in that mix where, hey, you know, I could finish second, I could finish 10th. You got to bring it every single day. So that's going to bring out some competitive juices, I think, in both coaches and players. How many of the, the new, t uh, new teams are you familiar with, either the coach or player? Are you that by name, name only or, or coach against? Well, over the years, our, our history has been in the Big East with, with UConn, Cincinnati, uh, as well as ourselves. And uh, now we've we've added some schools. Uh, we played UCF over the years, so we have a natural rival mm -hmm. school that's about an hour and a half away from us. Uh, outside of that, we've played Temple in a tournament a couple years ago, but everybody else is fairly new. Our, our school does have history. I wasn't there with Conference USA and, and playing Memphis, how good they are. Uh, SMU or Houston, the teams that were part of Conference USA. So there's some history from the past that now is coming back together. Uh, but I think it's going to be a, a terrific race this year. Talk about the young man that came with you today. What, what, he, what does he bring to the table? And is he an extension of your right arm from the sideline to the floor? <laughs> from the minute he stepped on the court, Anthony Collins, uh, you know, he proved himself and we knew gave him the basketball, he proved that he could run a basketball team, he could lead a team, he could lead a team to the NCAA tournament and win multiple games. Uh, the thing that makes him really special is number one, uh, he's a basketball junkie. He loves and studies the game. He's got a great uh, basketball IQ when, when understanding what needs to happen out there on the court. Uh, and he's got a toughness about him. He, he's a tough, competitive guy that wants to win. He's not going to back down to whoever we're playing against and whoever he's going against. He's going to bring it every single night. He's a consistent player. 
Uh, I don't have to worry about, hey, he's not, you know, he's off today. He's going to bring it and do something to make our team win. So I'm very fortunate to coach a guy like this. I have a lot of trust and confidence uh, when the ball's in his hands and we're out there on the court. Uh, and so, you know, I, I feel a lot relieved knowing that, um, you know, he and I are together. <laughs> you say that with a smile, Coach. Absolutely. And I didn't trust me. I know what that means, you know, because at, at the guard spot, when I lose, low post, stop it. Yeah, you, you win with guard play, and uh, you win with guys who can make things happen. And he is not caught up with, he could average 15 to 20 points if he wanted to. But he, he's more concerned about winning, and he's more concerned about making the right plays and, and really. I think elevating his teammates to a different level. And that's what I think special players do. They make the guys around them better. He has that quality. Well, Coach, thank you. And I'm going to get started with this young man next to you.